189, which is the installation ceremony of 12th Executive Committee of Toastmasters Amrita Bengaluru. Before we begin, here are the four golden rules we all need to follow. The first one, please put all your noise making devices on silent mode so that you won't interrupt the speaker. And the second one, please don't walk out of the meeting hall while the meeting is in progress because this may interfere the speaker. And the third one, please refrain yourself from talking about the topics like gender, religion, or politics, or any other controversial topics. If you want to do so, please put it in a way that no one gets offended. And the last one, please make a note that this meeting is being recorded and will be uploaded in social media platforms. So be conscious of the words you choose to talk here. So this day is going to be a big day for all the 12th executive committee officers filled with new wave of energy to deliver their newly assigned duties and responsibilities. All the very best to you all. This brings us to today's theme, New Way by Toastmaster Lakshmi. Toastmaster Lakshmi is an introvert who loves to watch feel-good movies with a popcorn and she loves to uh, smile her heart out with her friends. Over to you, Toastmaster Lakshmi. Thank you, Toastmaster Manjusha, for setting up the stage high. First things first, let me open the meeting. I declare meeting number 189 themed new wave open. A very good morning to uh, all the fellow Toastmasters present in the meeting. Today's theme is new wave. Don't worry. It's not about the upcoming COVID wave. It's about the newly elected executive committee officers. In Toastmasters fraternity, elections are held in every six months. After every six months, it's the, after every six months, it's the new set of people experiencing their Role, experiencing the respective roles and their new leadership styles. For, for the next six months, we all are ready for the, uh, to witness the energy the tab in TAB. It is said that for every 30 years, a new torchbearer comes in. The one who sets in a new thought in public speaking, we consider Ralph C. Smedley as a torchbearer. The first official meeting of Toastmasters was conducted on October 2nd, 1924. Now, Toastmasters International has more than 2,80,000 plus members in 144 countries, helping people from diverse backgrounds become more confident speakers, communicators, and leaders. With that being said, I'm very eager, eagerly waiting to introduce this person. She's an ambivert who strives to learn new things and become a better version of herself at the end. Over to you, Toastmaster Madhamita. Good morning, my dear fellow Toastmasters and my dear guest. Good morning. Yes. Whenever we start, you know, a new journey, we plan many things. Let us do this. Let us do that. But we end up doing something different. But you know what? We learn something new. Maybe the journey isn't so much about becoming anything, but unbecoming the previous version of yourself, which you were meant to be and become the new ones that you were expected to. The journey of the past six months for the 11th ex Executive Committee was an enriching experience and a very exciting one. We had all the ups and downs, but nevertheless, we did our best to the club. Every experience is a result of the challenges and good times we face. We overcame every challenge and gave a new initiative to all the problems that we faced. Let us see what were the, some of the initiatives that we took this term. The first one, role takers. Role takers tracking was added to the goal sheet, which helped in keeping account of the members' participation in the club meetings. The second, mentor-mentee coordination. 
reshuffling of mentor and mentee help the mentors to get exposure to all the mentors available and the most important one we got the two year spending hoodie issue sorted everyone got their hoodies printed with their name and tab and the most important one we got batches for tmom and for executive members we had five newbies in this pr team that is the pr team who were really new to editing and canva but the learning curve was exponential it was linear too new uh, new designs were implemented this term which increased the creativity in every member and uh, video mom's were made using the canva before it was in black and white now it's colorful so it has attracted many new members the most important one and the exciting one was we had a tab trip where everyone came into everyone joined and had a great experience tab has achieved two awards in this term namely smedley and fast five our club has had the legacy to stand strong and help the other clubs to be independent we have our we have bhn blr toastmasters as our body club our club members has set the benchmark in the history of tab making 16 goal breakers in the month of july that is the first benchmark we kick started with our excom journey let's look into the number of people who have completed their levels in this term level 1 vijayashree pranith vinay aditya and janani they have finished the level 1 level 2 harsha girish and vinay level 3 pratap level 4 and pratap as for the members achievement vinay won the humorous speech contest a dry run by impact 5.0 durga won the snap of the month by conducted by impact 5.0 zero sorry dinesh has taken up the role of the club coach for mvjce toastmasters club and a very dear gopika and harsha are serving the the areas g3 and f2 as the area directors well not to miss we had multiple marathons we had two rendezvous meets one linkers meeting one table topic marathon and a dry run in all in the midst of all the hybrid setups the most important milestone that tab has achieved was a 175th meeting which was an open house session conducted by our very own toastmaster toastmaster nitin bhagat who was a keynote speaker a huge shout out to the pr team who celebrated every member's achievement without missing it and celebrating it very sing every single time every excom did their best and supported the club and its members to achieve their professional as well as personal goals nevertheless a warm thanks to all the tapsters who had who gave your support at all times we needed and a special shout out to harsha for guiding us and being here every time we needed you with this i would like to conclude my secretary's report for the previous term and a very all the best for the next term rocket thank you over to toastmaster over to toastmaster lakshmi thank you toastmaster madhumita for that detailed club report now i wanted to welcome this person who hates when we call him the immediate past president let's welcome toastmaster dinesh onto the stage Thank you, Toastmaster Lakshmi. The eleventh president of Toastmasters, Amrita Bengaluru, for the term July to December, twenty twenty-two, is Toastmaster Dinesh, announced by Toastmaster Harsha. I replayed this scene in the past six months n number of times. I had mixed feelings about this moment. I was happy that I got a chance to serve back to the club that gave me a lot. i was anxious that how am i going to do it well 
what is the one thing any teenager would hate to take up apart from tmod exactly responsibilities i was a teenager and i still hate to take up responsibilities how on earth a person a student who hates to take up responsibilities can actually pitch for a role called president where he gives he gets a lot of responsibilities well it is tab tab is the second home that i found after coming out of my first home not as a runaway well i never regret joining the club i am the person i am today because of the decision that i took 2 years back well after pitching i had vision i had a vision for this club i have two goals that i want to accomplish in the next 6 months and having this vision made things smooth for me what is this vision this term is all about transition transition between different things when it comes to my goals that i want to accomplish in this 6 months the first goal is before 6 months the situation is well i am done with talking to blank screens and giving speeches to blank screens i am done with not listening to claps when i get and i give a speech i am done with not getting those handshakes after handing over the stage to the next, next role taker people are done with this well so does me after that we got a call from the college saying that the college is reopened and that is when i swore to myself i am not going to give up on in person meetings however it is that is the first goal not giving up on hybrid meetings the second goal is the leadership front before 6 months is amazing trust me but this is a club that has a diversity of the mix up of every academic background every academic year people then where is this mix up in the executive committee that is what i was worried about before the election process now once this elections are happen the previous elections i was actually very happy the elected executive committee has two fourth years and the rest five people are juniors and that is when i realized this is happening finally the change is beginning now this is my second goal to ensure the transition of this excom to the new people to my juniors and make sure this transition the learnings that they are going to receive are efficient because these are the young birds who got into leadership who got into leadership and uh, or it's a whole different another new world now goals will be, goals will be words and all it takes is people to actually realize it and i do have few set of people to actually realize these goals starting with toastmaster pranith he is he is a kind of person who says bhaiya the meeting hall is booked when uh, calling one day before the meeting hall one day before the meeting date element of surprise is his thing and that's what i love about him to be honest and toastmaster madhumita well the evolution of moms from every secretary is just a bliss to watch and toastmaster madhumita took it to whole another level by adding elements colors into the moms bringing life to moms that is your legacy toastmaster madhumita toastmaster supriya well she is a professionalist and the perfectionist that i've met financials trust me financials won't end with hurdles and the way you deal with these hurdles makes the whole difference and toastmaster supriya as the treasurer she made a lot of difference in dealing with these hurdles and something that stood out for me is the way she dealt now toastmaster vishnu as the vice president public relations well i was a vp pr before i am the president and this is this is the role that is very close to my heart because trust me working with a team to get your work done before deadlines is not an easy task to do and as i told you this is the term that had a lot of transition in it and uh, dealing academically speaking with the chaos that is happening around us the way toastmaster vishnu dealt with the team i really personally motivated and admired that him about that him a lot now coming to toastmaster govan well to talk about this man the vice president membership how many of you know how many people got added into the club this term this entire 6 months anyone else okay i would know for obvious reasons it is 14 people it is 14 new people whose collective goals common goal is 
to become a better speaker to become a better leader to overcome their stage fear and to overcome their fear of public speaking and the membership the best role, the best thing about vip membership is they give this stage to those people who need it and well we know tab it is a non judgmental stage that we can get where we can work on our skills and that credit goes to toastmaster govan now last but not the least the vice president education toastmaster janani whenever i look at her i'll just get this ho jayega vibe be it a new member who joined the club very recently and got elected as a vice president education be it a vice president education who is seeing the last minute backouts in meetings and trying to sort out those backups everything she did it well the best thing about leadership is you will ace the role if you own the role and with the description that i have gave you about this set of excom officers you can say that these people ace the roles don't you say yeah and with that hypothesis we can say that these people own the role and finally looking at these people these people made me own my role the president this is not an excom where the president has to motivate the excom officers to actually realize their responsibilities this is an excom the where the excom officers are self motivated about their roles and looking at their motivation the president is motivated and that is something to feel proud of and i am proud well i can totally relate to the new set of elected officers sitting here with many thoughts going behind their head some people might be thinking what this man is even speaking about get me installed already i am already do ready to do my job and everything and few people might be thinking ah next 6 months leadership too much commitment i can't do this these thoughts are always going to be there be it excom or tab or outside of the tab it is it, it always going to haunt you the way how you deal with this anxieties the way how you deal with these fears that is going to make a lot of difference and this is where tab comes into picture because that is the only resource we have as of now the non judgmental stage be accept willing to accept the change and it will serve you back that is the only suggestion i have for you people and uh, be open to change that's it with my side all the very best to the newly elected excom officers it is going to be a roller coaster ride many downs will be there many ups will be there but it is not a roller coaster ride where you want to escape from it it is a roller coaster ride where you want to take part of it and with that motivation i wish you all the best and over to you toastmaster lakshmi thank you so much toastmaster dinesh for, for sharing your experiences with us now circling back to what i was telling in in my in introduction once the election happens the newly elected officers have to be installed in their respective roles which will happen in this installation ceremony it is like uh, it is a memorable ceremony the toastmasters members have it is like letting in a new wave of energy and learnings into the club i know the past excom members are jealous about the present excom members because the installation ceremony is happening offline offline after 2 years now to make this installation happen i would like to call upon the stage the area f2 director and the installation officer of today's meeting toastmaster harsha all right Firstly, as Lakshmi already mentioned, I'm very jealous of you, twelfth XCOM, because mine was eighth XCOM, and we never had an installation ceremony offline. This is the first installation ceremony of Tab that I'm experiencing offline, and it's already amazing, man. I'm loving the whole vibe. Okay, let's get started with the installation ceremony. I'll take the side stage to leave the main stage to a few important people today. All right, I'm here to install. and prepare the officers of toastmasters amrita bengaluru each officer is obligated to attend club executive committee meetings attend district sponsored club officer training prepare a successor for his or her respective office before i start the installation ceremony 
I request the outgoing club officers to please turn on your video if you're online and people who are in person, I request the outgoing officers to please rise in your place. Online, online, Govind, Praneet, Vishnu, Pro. Govind, Sire, you're here. Who else are we missing? Seventh person, Supriya. All right, Govind and Praneet, if you can't turn on your video, just raise your hand using the virtual platform. All right, dear officers, you had a successful term and you all should be extremely proud for serving magnificently in your respect, respective offices. On behalf of Toastmasters Amrita Bengaluru, District 92 and Toastmasters International, I would like to say a big thank you for all your hard work and successful work this term. I hereby discharge you from all the further duties and responsibilities of your respective offices, effective from December 31st, 12 a.m. Please give the outgoing officer a round of applause for the wonderful service they have rendered to this club. Thank you. You may please be seated. And you can lower your hands now. Cool. Now I requested the elected officers to not turn on their video. In person, I request the elected officers to please join me on the stage when I call upon your name. Sergeant at Arms Toastmaster Manjusha. RSA says, my motive to join TAB is my passion for public speaking and networking. In no time, it helped me to shine my organizing and leadership skills. I wish to see TAB achieving your heights. Toastmaster Manjusha on the video, please. And our treasurer, Toastmaster Rahul Rayapudi. As treasurer, uh, he is saying that my entry to Toastmasters is to give an exit to the stage floor and to welcome English clearly. With these things, Toastmasters helped me from the first meeting I attended. I gave different speeches and different roles. I tried to go on to the stage whenever possible, which made me a person with no stage fear. As being an XCOM, I'll try to develop the club and to manage all the money stuff of the club in the upcoming six months with my hand with the correct penny count. And next up, we have Toastmasters Sri Vijay's uh, secretary. Rahul, on the stage, please. Please keep the octopus going on. Toastmaster Srividya, as secretary, she is saying that let high be speech better than silence or be silent. What we say is important. The reason why I joined, I always wanted to be a better speaker and get rid of stage fear. But joining Toastmasters has not only helped me improve that, but also helped me understanding the importance of connecting with audience, by managing time and to focus on the key message and bring an impact. As an XCOM officer, I hope we'll have more interaction and raise motivational aspects and a strong leadership team. Stay with you onto the stage, please. Next up, we have the Vice President Public Relations Toastmasters, Jashwita. She says, I've joined Toastmasters for after an ideal for, I, idle first year, hoping to pursue my interests. Not only I have found my purpose, but also found like-minded positive individuals who uplift each other. As an XCOM officer, I want to make best out of myself by contributing the best to the club. Just with the onto the stage, please. Cool. <laughs> Next up, we have the vice president membership, Toastmaster Aditya. He says, in the first place, when I came to know about Toastmasters and the impact it could be on me and my style of communication, I was not sh so sure about what I'm going to do. But now I can say I'm pretty confident about that. And to add on, stage has been a common place for me. After my one and a half year journey with Toastmasters, now I'm taking up responsibility as a vice president membership. And this, I feel as a privilege and an opportunity to start networking and keep growing. Aditya, on to the stage, please. And the vice president of ed education, Akka. Toastmaster Madhavita, she says, I joined TAB to build my networking and improve my communication skills. Toastmasters has helped me to overcome stage fear and build self-confidence. On to the stage, Toastmaster Madhumata. Next up, we have Toastmaster Janani as the president. She says, I joined Toastmasters to become a better version of myself in public speaking, connect with different types of people. Toastmasters has been a platform which made me realize my potential, be it in leadership or communication etc. 
As an XCOM officer, I would support and guide the club and our members along with my XCOM officers by fulfilling our duties. On the stage, Toastmaster Janani. I request each officer to hold uh, this gavel as a symbol of leadership. Where is the gavel? Starting with SA Toastmaster Manjusha, I would like to request you to hold a pen or a pencil so that it signifies a gavel. All right, I hope. Okay. Okay, Toastmaster Manjusha, as Sergeant at Arms, your responsibilities include arrange the meeting room or arrange the virtual meeting room, maintain club equipments and working order, ensure that adequate club supplies are available, take care of waiting room and allow only authorized attendees, lock the meeting room if need be once meeting commences, ensure to take care of online meeting controls and meeting recording, make sure that all relevant education and PR materials are displayed, Attend to special equipment needs. Greet guests. Help the president. Make sure the meeting begins on time. Toastmaster Manjusha, will you perform these duties to the best of your ability? Yes, I try my best to deliver with utmost res uh, responsibility. Thank you, Toastmaster Manjusha. Now you're installed as a sergeant at arms of Toastmasters Amrita Bengaluru. Thank you, Toastmaster Dinesh. All right, now you can take your line, treasurer, secretary, VPM. Toastmaster Rahul, please hold this gavel. Toastmaster Rahul, as treasurer, you're expected to keep financial records and prepare the club budget, announce when it's time for the members to pay dues, explain the due structure to members, collect dues, Work with the secretary to ensure that the club submits dues on time to Toastmasters International World Headquarters. Toastmaster Rahul, will you perform these duties to the best of your ability? Thank you. Toastmaster Rahul, you're installed as the treasurer of Toastmasters Amrita Bangalore. Hand the gavel over to the secretary. Toastmaster Srividya, as secretary, you should maintain an accurate membership roster. Work with the treasurer to ensure that new member application and dues get to Toastmaster International World Headquarters as soon as possible. Submit the new club, club officer list to the Toastmaster International on time. Work with the treasurer to submit your club semi-annual report and dues to Toastmaster International on time. Take care of noting down attendance for online meetings. Provide the club with minutes of each meeting if need be. Toastmaster Sri Vidya, will you perform these duties to the best of your ability? Thank you, Toastmaster Sri Vidya. Now you're installed as a secretary of Toastmasters Amrita Bangalore. Now we'll move on to the VPM. Once Jashwita comes back, we'll do the installation of uh, Jashwita as well. All right. Toastmaster Aditya, as vice president membership, you're expected to lead the club's membership building efforts, help members with any requirement during their journey, listen to their grievances and provide emotional support if need be. Motivate the current members to invite guests. Promptly give new member applications and dues to secretary and treasurer. Personally greet guests and provide them with membership information and application, whichever is applicable. Make sure each guest hears about the benefits of Toastmasters and gets a personal invitation to become a member. Toastmaster Aditya, will you perform these duties to the best of your ability? Toastmaster Aditya, now you're installed as the Vice President Membership of Toastmasters Amrita Bengaluru. Hand the gavel over to the VP Education. Toastmaster Madhumata, as Vice President Education, you're expected to gain commitments from members to set educational goals for themselves. Assure that club members are aware of the schedule of meeting roles. Plan meetings that will assist members in meeting their individual goals. Work with club members to keep meetings fun and well run. Work with your members to ensure that they submit their applications for educational awards promptly. Provide for educational topics at club meetings. 
represent your club at area and district council meetings as the second highest ranking officer preside over the meeting when the club president is absent toastmaster madhamata will you perform these duties to the best of your ability thank you now you're installed as the vice president education of toastmasters amrita bangalore all right toastmaster janani as president of toastmasters amrita bangalore you are the chief executive officer thus you preside at all club meetings and all meetings of the club executive committee it is your challenge to see that this club has new members and meets the needs of its current members to achieve their communication and leadership goals establish a club climate that is supportive stimulating and rewarding towards members realize that among the resources available to your commitment is towards fellow club members officer team area director division director district 92 officers and officers of toastmaster international headquarters toastmaster janani you hold the gavel as a symbol of the power and authority that your club has given you during your term of office i am confident that you will use it wisely and with restraint work with your team members to create a healthy dynamic club a club of which everyone will be proud toastmaster janani as a member of toastmasters amrita bangalore and as well as its leader will you work with your executive team and club members to make this a vibrant and a rewarding club this term and help every individual with honesty loyalty and empathy toastmaster janani now you are installed as the president of toastmasters amrita bangalore dear members of toastmasters amrita bangalore please rise from your seats even if you are not from tab you can raise not a problem online audience please be on video whoever can waiting for 5 seconds 5 Four, three, two, and one. Cool. Your officers team has just pledged to serve this club to the best of their ability, to be the best Toastmasters club possible, and to meet the needs of all its members. Your club will need active participation from each member. Do you, as members, pledge to work together with your officer team to make Toastmasters Amrita Bangalore the finest, finest Toastmasters club it can possibly be? With a little more energy, please. A little more energy. Thank you. By the authority vested in me as the area director of Area F two District ninety two, it is my sincere pleasure to declare these Toastmaster officers installed in their respective club officers. Please join me in extending a warm welcome to the twelfth Executive Committee of Toastmasters Amrita Bangalore for the term January twenty twenty three to December twenty twenty three. Wish you the best. Thank you. Don't worry. When Jashwada comes, we'll install her separately for sure. All right. Over to the master of ceremony, Toastmaster Lakshmi. Thank you, Toastmaster Harsha, for installing all the executive committee members in their respective roles. Now. Let us welcome this person who is going to be the face of TAB for the next six months. I know most of you have already guessed the name. She is a person who loves public speaking and has passion towards poetry and finds joy in gardening work. Over to you, Toastmaster Janani. On May twentieth at seven twenty a.m. when i was on my way to college i was checking my phone whether to text toastmasters amrita bengaluru instagram handle page i kept typing the message and i kept erasing it i had a doubt will i be able to make it to the club will they be accepting me so for few days i just had a thought to join the club then there came a time when i thought let me give it a try and i texted hi this is janani and i would like to join the club is there any event for the first years to participate where i can join the club and just a fraction of second i got a reply hey janani there is no particular event for first years but you can definitely join the club i'll send you the link of our youtube channel and go through those video recordings and that's the journey of how i started coming to tab 
and the rest is just a journey with a lot of ups and downs. Once I entered into Toastmasters Amrita Bengaluru, everything was just so professional. The, at that time when I joined, the president was Toastmaster Gopika. Within a week I joined, I received a text from her telling, Hey Janani, the elections are coming up. Enroll yourself for all the roles. For a second, I thought, did she send it by mistake to me? I texted her back, Gopika, I have, I'm a new member and I don't know anything about the club. And she told me, if you're a new member, it doesn't matter. Just give all that you can for all the roles. I told, except the president, I'll go for all the roles. She told, you can go even for the president. There's nothing wrong. But I felt that I'll put down the club down if I become the president. Except president, I enroll myself for all the roles. The elections came up. Before the elections, I had to take up someone called mentor. At that time, Toastmaster Ganesh was the VP education. He texted me telling, Janani, can you send me an introduction about yourself so that I can send it to the mentors and the mentors will come forward to mentor you. I made an introduction about myself and I sent. And then Toastmaster Ganesh sent me two mentors name telling these two mentors are willing to form, mentor you. So one was Toastmaster Dinesh and there was someone else. I was thinking whom should I select? I thought if I select one person, the other person is going to feel bad. What if they think, oh, she's already judging us. Why, why didn't she select me? Such kind of thoughts was running for me because I didn't really know what was it happening. So then I went to my friends. I was like, can you select among these two, any one name? That's how I literally went. And then finally, I came up to a decision. Let me go with Toastmaster Dinesh, my mentor. The best mentor I can ever ask for. He came up to me and he told, go for all the uh, election nomination, all the roles. I started writing the pitch and it was the election day. I told Toastmaster Dinesh, Dinesh, I'm making the pitch, but I'm sure I'm not going to get elected because I'm a new member and you guys already know each other. So obviously you will vote for the person whom you already know. You won't vote for me. Toastmaster Dinesh told something. He told that is nothing like we know each other. It is your pitch. It is what you are going to do for the club. I thought he's just telling those to motivate me or to give whatever best I can give. But trust me, that election changed my mindset a lot. The first role which I pitched in for was for VP education. And I was really shocked. Like everyone voted for me and I thought they don't know anything about me. Have I ever worked before? Not even a month that I joined the club. I haven't even attended two proper meetings. I have not taken up any role except the timer role, which happened in Valmiki Hall. But they voted for VP education. I was happy. There are a lot of happy messages started coming. Congratulations. But until one person called Toastmaster Hasha sent me a message telling, Congratulations, Janani. But a lot of responsibilities. You have to give your best. That's when I started freaking out. I'm like, okay. That's a lot of responsibility. Then I started giving it a thought. I thought they don't know anything about me. I have to give my best. Then with the help of my mentor, I started learning things. I started doing the VP education role with all my best that I could. There came a time where I had to do the agenda. I didn't know how to do it. Ganesh told me that you have to do the agenda, but I didn't have an idea or the previously how it was done. There was a meeting which was happening tomorrow and I had an exam which was also taking place tomorrow. I texted my mentor telling, Dinesh, can I do the agenda from next to next meeting? Because this meeting, I'll first see how the agenda is getting made. Then I'll do it next meeting. Toastmaster Dinesh told, you have to learn it now. Then only you can do it in the next meeting. Then I started learning and that's how it started. Now, why am I telling all my journey is the first thing which I want to tell for the new XCOM member is whichever role you have taken, do it with all your will. Remember that this is your own club. You are not doing it for anyone. That The role which you have taken, give your best. The first thing to ace your role or to feel that you have done your best is doing it with all your will. Do it from your heart. The second one which I want to tell is do not feel pressurized. Nobody will put a pressure on you. If someone is asking you to do this, Toastmaster, do this, Toastmaster, do that work. They do not get anything by telling you to do that work. 
they have to do their work so they are telling you to do it they, this club means a lot for everyone so by giving your best and feeling not pressurized is something which i wanted to tell because once you start taking things like doing this work you're getting pressurized is when you start hating what you're doing and that will totally change the purpose of you being in toastmasters so these are the two things which i want to say the third one is trust your excom members put all your faith trust if they say something listen to it listen to them if they are stuck in something if you it's not your work you can still help them trust your members three things then the next one which i want to say is have a clear open cut communication with your team if you have something coming up just tell them hey so and so i'm i i'll not be able to do this because i have some work can you help me out with this can you sort it out by having a open clear cut communication is where all, most of our problems will get solved and one line which i wanted to say is once a toastmaster always a toastmaster because today morning when i was getting ready i started at my home by 9:30 my father was waiting down and he was just giving me a death stare like do you know what you are doing i told i am on time i will reach by ted he told whether you reach on time is not the problem you are becoming the president and make sure you go there at least 15 minutes before and help sort the things so once a toastmaster always a toastmaster trust your members feel that this is your family and one thing which i want to tell for the members also is that not necessary the excom officer should alone work the club is all yours the excom officers are just here to help and guide you so with all that will i hope this term will be one of the amazing congratulations to all the excom officers and coming to individually first starting with the sergeant at arms toastmaster manjusha i'm pretty sure she'll rock the role because i have seen her work as the president of toastmaster daro or top uh, club daro her she comes up to me and she says hey janani can you help me out with this i need to finish this work by today i have to do this so by that i'm pretty sure she'll rock the role coming to the treasurer toastmaster rahul a chill person when i met him few days back i asked him toastmaster rahul did you have a conversation with supriya he told i have already learned all the things which i need to and i have a good hold on that so well in advance when you start doing is where you can know that they have the passion towards that role coming to the next one toastmaster jaswita for vppr toastmaster jaswita contacted me and she said hey can you arrange a call with me with toastmaster vishnu i want to start working now only i'll get the help of him and start learning all the postures how it is to be done i need access to pr team so even before getting even before the election got ended on the day of election she came up to me and she told just tell me what i have to do i'll start doing so i'm pretty sure she'll do amazing coming to the next one toastmaster aditya vp membership so aditya i have already seen him as a person who goes up and talks to people so today i told him can you go and talk to the new guests who are here and he told i know them already i have their contact and i can i have already talked to him so that's amazing coming to toastmaster vp education the most active person in the club she has already worked as secretary i have seen her almost in all the meetings whatever the worker she'll be perfect with the work she'll have a book in her hand she'll have a pen and she'll start noting down of whatever is happening and for the first, last meeting when i asked her can you arrange the role takers she started sorting out she started calling and she asked me janani can you help me out with these two roles i did and then for the agenda i told madhumita you have done the role takers i'll do the agenda she told if i don't do it now next meeting i will have to suffer so she did the agenda all by herself so the excom officers are all amazing and coming to the secretary toastmaster shri vidya well i guess the most experienced person in the excom is shri vidya she has worked as the associate vp education worked in the pr team knows how to do the posture knows how to get the role takers done and has also been in the secretary team so she's going to just rock it all the best to all the excom officers and let's make sure that our term is one of the best this uh, remarkable milestone that tab can get thank you back to the moc
Thank you, Toastmaster Janani, for sharing your wonderful experiences. I completely relate with you because when I joined Toastmasters, after three months, elections were happening and I got elected as the VPPR. Even I was a newbie like you and these people always had my back. No matter, like, even if you don't know the work, you should have the enthusiasm to learn. And I also agree with you that Dinesh is the best mentor. <laughs> Do you have anything else to say, Dinesh? Over to you. Change of plans, giving more time to Dosmaster Asha to prepare. Meanwhile, I have one more thing, one more thing to tell. Well, if there are no roots, the tree won't be standing steady, right? Similar to that, whatever needs that XCOM have, whatever needs that I have, if there is no support system for you, obviously you are not going to do anything. And for me, that support system is my beautiful, cute area director, Toastmaster Hasha. Being roommates with him, all uh, sometimes all you just want is a person, a pair of ears to just listen to. I just ran my things to him and he'll just, he say, he'll just say nothing. He'll just give, he'll listen to everything and he'll just give a better perspective on that. A perspective that I don't know. So being, thanks for being that support system for the XCOM, for the newly elected XCOM that, that you are going to be there, obviously. And uh, for me, the president that I am today, <laughs> immediate past president, but still president, thanks for being what I am today for letting me do what I did till now. Thank you, Toastmaster Asha. Toastmaster Lakshmi. Now, let us hear what our dear area director has to say about the 12th executive committee. Over to you, Toastmaster Harsha. All right, thank you so much, Toastmaster Lakshmi. Well, I don't have anything to say for the XCOM uh, uh, as such because TAB has been an, I mean, TAB has been one of the clubs in my area which I don't have to care a lot about because they'll do work. The XCOM is self-motivated, members are self-motivated, they give speeches, they complete levels and they do a lot of stuff. So not just for the last six months or so, I've been in TAB from... This is hashtag 189. I've been here from hashtag 35. So that's around 154 meetings. Nothing to cheer about. I've been there. But I think the first meeting when I was here, it was an e-learning hall, hashtag 35. So the theme was first time and I was a first timer in Toastmasters. And the first thing I was trying to do on that day was going onto the stage to give a table topic. And I didn't do that. I definitely didn't do that because there were around 70, 80 people in that hall. And I was so afraid to go onto the stage. So, timer, I'm so sorry. To, today, I'm going to take a little bit of time. And on that day, my legs were totally shaking when I was sitting in the last row. I didn't want the person on the stage to notice me. I did all of that. And by the end, they ask every one of us to come onto the stage and click a group picture, right? That's when I went onto the stage. Achievement. <laughs> At least I stepped onto the stage for a picture, right? So I stepped up onto the stage and I felt, okay, this place is so scary. But then uh, being a person who loves to do scary stuff, at least if I get into something, I'm this kind of person who wants to explore everything, but is afraid to do that also. If I'm afraid, I'm, def I'm definitely going for it. So with the same motto of become a member of Toastmasters Amrita Bangalore. And today also when people are calling me area director, Dear area director Toastmaster Hasha onto the stage. No, today I'm not going to address as an area director, but as a proud member of Toastmasters Amrita Bangalore for the past three and a half years. So, as a proud member of Toastmasters Amrita Bangalore from hashtag 35, that is August 9, 2019, I've always had one thing in my mind. Whenever I step up onto the stage, I have to be sure that I'm not going to black out. But I did black out a lot of times. So, for the first six months, you would have seen. Uh, I mean, you would have been inactive in the club for some time, for sure. How many have you been inactive in the club at least for like one or two months? Every one of us. That is going to happen. That is inevitable because 
at a point in time you're afraid or you're burnt out or whatever it is i was inactive for the first 6 months because i was unsure of what to do in the club and people were pushing me to do a lot of things take up a role two timer after show timer cards our counter keeper tag tag of crpfs no not any of this then vice president education was toastmaster madhavata not toastmaster madhavata my senior she was the past year director so she texted me one day saying harsha take up the timer role man it's on saturday it's two days away take it up i said i'm not going to take it up why because i have cultural education exam <laughs> and she was like cultural education exam you're going to study for it yes i'm going to the meeting is for two hours just come and go she pushed me to take it i took up timer that was the motivation i had in toastmasters amrita bangalore with no motivation willing to do nothing just not renewing next time don't want to renew only with all these thoughts after four months of being in toastmasters i wanted to quit literally quit because i didn't like it not like it but i didn't try also so that was the idea that i had in my mind later two months later again in december holidays came up we went home january 7th was the day when we came back to i remember the dates exactly because it has just stuck in my mind for a very long time i want to talk about all of this and this being i don't know if this might be the last meeting for us as fourth years because in the next 20 days we're not going to have meetings and we're going to graduate after that so i just wanted to talk a lot so on, in december at that time uh we went home came back in jan jan 7th was a meeting so again there were three more months left with my membership so should i actually do something in these three months should i give it a try and i thought okay i'm paying something let me at least do something in this club because i'm at least paying for it man so in january on jan 7 there was a meeting and i took up a role called toast master of the day right now what lakshmi is doing as the master of ceremony that's the whole role as you can see she's she's going to speak a lot in the whole meeting and doing that role is not easy at least for a new member it's very very tough i took up toast master of the day and like this tab was not exactly like this we didn't have 20 to 25 members coming to every meeting on that day there were only seven people in the meeting and we still had a meeting that's where tab came from that's how our roots are very strong five people six people seven people we still used to have a meeting there are only two people have a table topic session that's how we used to have meetings we used to have meetings on stairs as well so this this is the kind of place where we came from on that day it was a uh, valmiki hall seven members in the meeting and i was doing toast master of the day and i was scared to face six people just six people just my seniors and fellow club members fellow students i was so scared to address those six people as a toast master of the day speaking for a bare minimum of 15 minutes in the whole meeting that day i stepped up on the stage i prepared a lot i don't know how much practice you're going to do for your speeches but at least but i at least practiced for almost 4 hours to face those six people that's the kind of stage where i had that day i came onto the stage just stood there spoke with people i was not afraid i was prepared i was totally prepared whatever the situation was i just wanted to keep speaking so i picked up a few topics that i really love tennis uh, then again a few topics about friends and all of that i picked up a few topics and i just kept talking and talking and talking that was the first time in 6 months whenever i did a tag role and whenever i did a speech evaluator role whatever the role was i always had this dream a big dream of winning best of the role takers <laughs> for almost 6 to 7 months i didn't win it my biggest dream and by my biggest achievement till now in toastmasters is winning the best of big four in january 2020 as a toastmaster of the day that's my biggest achievement that's where the whole journey started back then toastmaster ashwin who's the current district pr manager of d121 was my mentor and that day he said harsha do you want to do moc once again toastmaster of the day i was like no bro <laughs> then this guy always used to push me a lot and he said if you are not i mean if i don't trust in you why would i even ask you so maybe i was flattered i don't know <laughs> then i agreed okay 50th meeting uh, i told i'll do moc then he said it's for 50th meeting like what it's a milestone meeting and there were district there was a district director sitting in front of me my area director was sitting in front of me division director was sitting not going to happen but then 
I ended up being there no matter what because I had the least preparation. Everything I was scared, but then I went on to the stage, said good morning at least four or five times, say because I didn't have anything to speak. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. So there were a lot of mistakes I committed at Toastmasters Amrita Bangalore. Not mistakes, uh, a lot of blunders, not just mistakes. I didn't know that uh, there, all these were called mistakes exactly. But then, you know what's special here? We embrace those embarrassments. We clap for those mistakes because. mistakes are the most valuable things that we can commit at least in tap for me so in january that is when 50th meeting was done i was on cloud 9 because people encouraged me people asked me to take it up even though I screwed it up to the next level grammarian sorry there's no grammarian okay i totally wasted the role people were sending me congratulatory messages saying harsh you did a great job that uplifted my spirit to the whole new level then later on things turned online giving speeches all of that was a whole different thing i would like to not not talk about that right now because the timer will beat me up i'm going to take a lot of time so all these days i had uh, this is this one thing has always been there in tap for me uh, at least a lot of us whenever we have a problem we always have this idea that someone's going to show up i'm going to write it down so that this is registered in your minds so whenever we have a problem in the club the first one will run to is the president or one of the exco members that you're close to right so that they'll sort out your problem so that they'll do something about it right so that's how my mindset also was and once i became in my first role was sergeant at arms it was in totally online online mode and the only thing i had to do was start the meeting and talk in the meeting not really much and after the meeting i used to collect tag reports this is this was my work as a sergeant at arms and i did it pretty easily because by that time i was getting a little fluent with my english trying to be on the stage talk with everyone and do all of that but i don't know where and when i just happened to be this pr person no matter what one day randomly Ash, again ashwin asked me to take up a pr chair role in an area contest and i said what should i do so like you have to do some background things in the uh, in the contest with me i was like background things chalega i can do very easy then after a while one day later he texts me saying bro make a poster like what poster what poster which poster why poster i don't know anything i said he said use pixart canva pp uh, powerpoint do something make a poster and send he sent me the details I made a poster and sent it to him. He was like, "This is not even a poster." <laughs> then there was this uh, friend, senior of mine, whom I still look up to and I'll always look up to, Toastmaster Saurabh. I just ran to him, saying, "Bro, not happening, man." <laughs> I just ran to him that day. He was in Madra Block, room number seven twenty-six. He was sitting with his shorts on. <laughs> I went to him and said, "Bro, poster is not happening. Do something." I was like, "Should I make the poster?" I said, if you can teach me, I can make the posters. What I said, we sat for almost four hours in the night till twelve or something in Madhra block till twelve in the night from seven to twelve. Five hours we made one poster, and you know what? That poster also got rejected. One of the area directors who was uh, who was there back then said, "This looks like MS Paint." <laughs> so five hours of effort, learning a lot of things, gone to waste, utter waste. But then again at twelve o'clock, I went back to my room. In between, again hangama happened. We got caught with the wardens because the junior is not supposed to stay in Madhra Block. We got caught, and Saurabh got screwed, not me, <laughs> because I was a junior. Obviously, you can juniors don't know anything, man. So I went back to my room. Twelve thirty in the night, I sat. I started making a poster. Till two thirty, I made poster once again. This time, the poster got accepted. After one and a half days of effort. rejecting getting rejected again and again one poster finally got selected i was like again a biggest achievement in my life not just those masters so that's the kind of effort we put in to do at least pr so at that point i had to make a lot of posters once again you see nikhil right there he was going to a movie he was like bro he was not in those masters back then was like bro we're going to bishma you want to come like no i'm sorry i have to make a poster poster I didn't go to the movie. I sat there the whole day. I was making posters. I got to be a PR person. 
then again trust me on the way being a pr person i faced a lot of rejections with posters even now when i make a poster some rejects i'll take it totally take it you give me 100 inputs i'll take it but if i feel that the input is wrong i'll tell you right on your face that's a different thing but yes if you still reject a poster i'm happy to take it remake a poster once again because that's what pr teaches you and when i was in sa i actually wanted to be a pr not sa so elections happened i pitched for pr i didn't get pr i was unhappy i'll be very genuine i was unhappy but then i got sa now what am i supposed to do totally throw away the role not at all i gave my best for sa and till date whatever the leadership position comes up or whatever i'm going to take or today i have sa is the best role that i've did i think whoever did as sa will agree to this because one hell of an experience and after that um randomly in on a day in november i got a text from my unofficial mentor toastmaster sanjana and my official mentor toastmaster manjula saying elections are coming up go for president also what do you signing me up for i'm not even a active member right now because i was having a personal crisis going on by the end of november i was not that active so at that time they asked me to go for president and i didn't want to go but they pushed me pushed me they kept badgering me just like we did to a few of you <laughs> uh, they did the all of that and i signed up for the role of president saying i'll pitch for it i pitched a lot of them pitched Toastmaster Ashwin announced the next president of Toastmaster Anuta Bangalore will be Toastmaster Harsha. Okay, I wasn't ready for this. I was so shocked uh, because being a member who's only one year old and being a second year, if I'm not wrong, till now, Janani exception again. <laughs> till now, every president was a fourth year except me. So at that point, I was so confused, saying I'm a second year. and how did these people elect me uh, elect me to be a president because like man 6 months ago i was on on the stage holding timer card shivering and shaking i was totally unsure i was totally under confident i didn't want to do anything but then you know mentors 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 plays a important role in your toastmaster journey they said harsha you've got into it no other option you'll learn along the way i started my journey as a uh, president and i don't know have this very bad habit in toastmasters amrita bangalore at least i have this habit whatever the situation is whatever the situation i mean let it prolong to any crisis i'll be there in the meeting this is something i haven't shared with you a lot with a lot of people but as a, as eighth excom we had to conduct the 100th meeting of the club it was totally online it was on december 26th okay December twenty six, twenty twenty. On December twenty six, twenty twenty, we prepared for the event in full range. We had we had a TEDx speaker called Deepak Justin as a keynote speaker. We had almost one twenty people in the meeting room and everything. On the day of hundredth meeting in the morning, I got a call uh, from my native saying, "Your childhood friend died." I was not in a position to attend the meeting, seriously. And this was the first meeting I was conducting as a president. I had to take a call. I had to take a call. i showed up at the meeting what is the situation was i was there stick to it someone's not going to show up because you are the face right now you have to be there at that point my mindset was only one thing i wanted to cry a lot i wanted to do a lot of things i wanted to shout so hard because it's my friend man and later on i was sitting in the meeting and in between one of my seniors texted me saying harsha can we shout i mean can we cheer for deepak justin once by unmuting he mentioned this in a speech i was like bro i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> i was totally in a different place but then i was there at the meeting handling every crisis possible in the background that's the kind of commitment i wanted to show because if a small thing goes wrong i don't i didn't want any one of them to question me i want i didn't want any one of them to question my credibility as a president or as just a member of toastmaster amrita bangalore and that day trust me that was a wrong move i should have told someone i'm this i'm having this particular crisis i should have just stayed away from the meeting should have given responsibility to someone that's the ideal thing to do if you have a situation anywhere like that just do that because 
it's going to take a high toll on you because you're having a crisis personally again people come up to you in background and wondering bro i'm going to back out that's the worst thing you can ever hear so that day hundred meeting over blockbuster hundred plus participants happy faces everything done in the six months of my president term again toastmaster dinesh was my vice president membership i don't know we have this weird bond <laughs> uh we were 20 days away from a award called talk up toastmasters and we needed four new members into the club it was totally online we didn't know a lot of people will win that award or get the award to the club only if we get four new members in 20 days and you know what we did don't ask me how i don't remember it was two years ago that's a whole different thing but yeah uh, in those six months we had a lot of problems covid second wave second wave came up third wave came up people were uh, there was tabs for fourth anniversary happening and we asked for role takers bro i'm having covid i was having covid and i was asking for role takers <laughs> the night before 24th anniversary i was making a video with a lung infection covid till 3 in the night so no matter what i didn't want anyone else to show up my work i'll do it even though it's going to take a lot of toll on me i'm going to do it no matter what that has been my president journey you know just i know i'm talking a lot but that was that's just in a just if you meet me offline sometime if you actually want to hear i won't bore you out i'll tell you interesting stories that happened in the background <laughs> so after the president role again something happened at home something happened with uh, a few close friends of mine and i didn't sign up for excom for the next term i didn't want to go for excom because after president after facing a few situations i'm like okay let me stay away from it a little because let the others handle everything and every i just wanted to be away from excom i didn't nominate for any role but then on the way i took up everything possible that came ldp impact coordination division pq everything possible and at a point i didn't know what i was doing the, all of a sudden i used to get calls text saying bro this is not happening this is not happening this is happening i was confused i was seeing a lot of things people who are not osmas if you getting confused i'm very sorry but i'm just talking a lot um a lot of things were coming by i took up everything that came my way i took up every opportunity that came my way and uh, i'll tell you what is the best moment in that one year for me i was not even in excom for a year but later one year later area director nominations came up and the last day of nominations i didn't even sign up for area director by then on the last day of nominations because i went to wanderla <laughs> on the last day in the morning um the cgd the district director and if i become an ad my division director they called me up saying harsh are you signing up for ad or not now you were not there in excom for one year you were didn't do a lot of things but you showed up everywhere possible that's when i felt i've met these folks like one year ago or something all this the director was whoever it was i mean these folks one year ago one year ago or something and they trusted me with a big responsibility now toastmasters when we say that it changed my personality it changed me as a person it actually shaped me into a better person and why am i wasting my weekend or not wasting a weekend exactly why am i spending my weekend here instead of being at a party Why am I spending my weekend here instead of just playing cricket with my friends? Why am I spending my weekend here instead of playing tennis somewhere? I don't really know. Because Toastmasters helped me out in such a way that right now I'm standing in front of you, and when mor this morning, Dinesh and I wanted to prepare for AD address and uh, press address. He was preparing. Then I said, "Bro, I'm not going to prepare." <laughs> i didn't prepare at least a bit and i'm still making sense after speaking for almost 10 to 12 minutes that's where toastmasters has brought me at least so on the way that day when they called me up and asked harsh are you are actually signing for area director or not 10 minutes before the nomination i did for the nomination got lost i nominated myself for uh, being an area director then i've become an area director too in the past 6 months you know what happened because i need not tell you the whole story you've been with me you've stayed and looked at the whole journey and these three and a half years as a member of toastmasters amrita bangalore i didn't wait for anyone to show up if there was any work i showed up now 
I want each and every one of you, not just to be there in the club, but do something about it. Just being there is good. But you're saying an active, passive. What are we going to get out of it? And best motivation, you pay three thousand five hundred forty-five dollars. <laughs> do something with it. So I want you. Again, writing this down. Each and every one of you, write here. Whenever there is a crisis, you need not be a president to handle that crisis. You need not be a VP education. You need not be an XCOM officer. You need not be anyone to handle that crisis. If a VP are reaches out to you saying, "I'm not able to do this video. Can you help me out?" Sitting on a Gmeet call with them for one or one and a half hour will mean a lot to them because you're helping them out. When a president, when a VP reaches out to reaches reaches out to a president saying, "I'm not able to find role takers." If you help him or her finding a role takers, you're helping out a lot. That means a lot to them. Trust me. And as a member, what can you do? As a member, in one year without being an XCOM, I was able to do a lot of things. If you want to do something, reach out to me. I'm always there to help you out. And most probably in 20 days, we're going to get out of college. And after 20 days, we'll not be in person here. Uh, whenever. There is a problem here. Saying, "Bro, some guest showed up. We need to take a permission." Harsha or Dinesh can't come and give you that permission. <laughs> you need to take that permission. You need to stand up, and no matter what, show up. That's how you're going to make the difference. Just show up at the club. Be there at the meeting. Be there. Take a role, and taking up a role in every meeting, it's going to change you a lot. Taking up a role, I'm pretty sure this is something I've heard. Uh, From a person in Toastmasters, if you do a role of president, before president you are a different person, and after president you will be a different person. You will get a understanding of different things, and before Toastmasters you are a different person. After Toastmasters, you will definitely be a different person because that's what is going to change you a lot. Now we, I've been I've been giving gyan to a lot of uh, a lot of gyan in the past ten minutes or so. I'm not sure, but then whenever there is something happen in the club, just show up. Because in my president term, one of the meeting, I asked members for availability. Everyone said they'll be available in an open house. All together, twenty people attended. So that day, again, I was broken so bad because in that meeting, the keynote speaker was our charter president, Osmasa Sanjay. I felt so bad. It felt like I was hitting him. i'm not saying that it's the fault of members or so it was our fault too at that time because there were a few things happening in our now but always remember showing up is going to matter a lot showing up is going to bring up that difference showing up is what a tapster is going to do and has done and will always do with that always be a proud member of toastmasters amrita bangalore with that being said A proud member of Toastmasters in Madhya Bangalore called Sri Harsha Varnasi, signing off for now. Back to the master of ceremony. Sorry. Yeah, just leaving out one thing again. Jashwita, can you please come onto the stage? We'll have the installation separately for her. Give a big round of applause, please. XCOM member, show up on the stage. Come on to the stage, every XCOM member, incoming. Let her have the whole experience. I'm not going to install everyone once again. Huh? Only her. All it. Huh? Jashuda, can you take the gavel? Gavel, gavel. Just take the gavel in your hand. Gavel. Stand in the middle. Since she wasn't there when I introduced her, Toastmaster Jashwita, she says I've joined Toastmasters after an ideal, ideal first year, hoping to pursue my interests. Not only I have found my purpose, but also found like-minded positive individuals who uplift each other. As an XCOM officer, I want to make best out of myself by contributing the best to the club. Toastmaster Jashwita, 
as vice president public relations you are expected to attract visitors to the club through free publicity use a variety of means to promote the club and its members in as many mediums as possible such as digital print internet enlist your fellow club members in pr activities providing them with promotional materials and ideas for inviting guests regularly recognize member achievements with met- methods such as announcements newsletters emails and articles that you submit for the district bulletin toastmaster jashwita Will you perform these duties to the best of your ability? Toastmasters Jashwita, now you're installed as the Vice President Public Relations of Toastmasters Amrita Bangalore. Thank you so much. Now you can please take your seats, every one of you. Back to the Master of Ceremony, Toastmaster Lakshmi. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Harsha, for sharing your wonderful journey in TAB. And even I'm becoming a little bit emotional because we'll be leaving. This will be our last meeting offline. And to bring us... So even though the installation ceremony is done, we can't end a meeting without a fun session, right? So I would like to call upon this person who is an ambivert trying to see positiveness in everything she does. Toastmaster Sumabhavna onto the stage. Good morning, everyone. Okay. Today we'll play a fun game. And I'll tell you all the instructions of the game. Firstly, when we start the music, today Nikhil is there for me to play the music. When we start the music, you need to pass the bottle. And it should start from the last. That is Dinesh Anna. You need to pass the bottle and when the music stops, whoever is holding the bottle, they will be given a question. It will be a, it will be a fun question. Don't worry at all. And that person will be given a time of one minute. And it is a fun session. Try to make it as funny as possible. And shall we start now? Ready? Okay. From Dinesh Anna. Lately, I've been, I've been thinking, I want to feel right to me. I want to raise. Today, you don't need to come on the stage. That stage will come to you. Your question is, uh, would you rather be on a survival reality show or a dating game show? Very typical question. <clears throat> Uh, I'll be on a survival reality show uh, because uh, I was not a, I'm a kind of person who loves, this is my question. <laughs> I'm a kind of person who loves uh, adventures and going out with uh, people. So I would go for a survival reality show and few people are expecting me to go for a dating game show. And no, I'm not going to go for that. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Out you. Okay, start. <laughs> Jashwita, your question is, if you are the one day prime minister, what would you do? I'll transfer all the money to my account. (laughs) Yeah, if I was a one day prime minister, 
I would help for my growth because one day I don't think I could be doing something else. I'd help myself as much as possible so that remaining time I can help my country. Okay. Here. Yeah. Okay, the next. Okay, your question is, what's your name? Tapan. Tapan. Your question is, if you could travel anywhere, where would you go? In the beach, please. Uh, or trekking. Trekking? Himalayas. Himalayas? Himalayas. That's it. Your question is, what are your best talents? Uh, what? <laughs> when as people suggest lemon rice, okay? <laughs> yeah, tiger rice, whatever it is. So, uh, along with that, so I... <laughs> I think I think I'm good at uh, speaking with new people. Not only new, yeah, with new people is what I think. Yeah. And as people are suggesting me to talk for a minute, see, um, I've been interested with talking with new people and knowing what they can do and wo knowing what I can do with uh, a newer self of myself. And developing myself from uh, taking references of them, the yeah, taking numbers from them, and connecting with people. Uh, I have been an associate VP membership, and evidently I'm the VP membership right now. And I thank every single one of the uh, tapsters who've uh, elected me as one. Thank you. Game start. I want you to be happier. I want you to be happier. When the evening falls. Yeah, Kashi. If you could be any animal, what would you be? Any animal. One minute. Yeah, if I could be any animal, I would like to be a tortoise. Maybe because it can live simply without even speaking or without even doing anything for 150 years easily. <laughs> yeah, the oldest living animal on the planet is tortoise only. <laughs> That's it. I'm left there with my thoughts. I'm the image of you being with someone else while they're seating. Me up inside, but we run our course. We pretend it we're okay. Now, if we jump together. Your question is, would you rather be the youngest or the oldest sibling? Sibling. I think uh, being youngest is better because oldest gets all the works and everything. Being youngest is like, we can do all the mischievous things and uh, throw it on to the older ones. 
That's it. Okay. Okay. At least we can swim far away from the wreck we did, Your question is, would you rather change your hair, hair color or your eye color? <laughs> Not going to exper experiment on my hair, so definitely eye color. Don't have any reason. Yeah, definitely red. Okay, guys, that's the end of the fun session. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Over to Toshmaster Lakshmi. Yeah, thank you. Toastmaster Sumabhavna, we enjoyed a lot. And now, for giving the closing remarks, let's welcome our in incoming secretary. She says that let Thai speech be better than silence or be silent. And she always wanted to be a better speaker and get rid of a stage fear. And that's why she joined Toastmasters. Toastmaster Sri Vidya onto the stage. Thanks a lot, Toastmaster Lakshmi. Once again, a very good morning, fellow Toastmasters and guests. I, Toastmaster Sri Vidya, on behalf of the newly elected XCOM, would like to express my gratitude to each and every club member for the trust and belief you have in us. Trust is the glue of life. It's the most essential ingredient in effective communication. It's the foundation principle that's ho that holds all of us together. As the 12th Executive Committee of Toastmasters Amrita Bangaluru, under the leadership of Toastmaster Janani, we will take your trust as an opportunity to, to, ser to serve the club back and perform the, to the best of our abilities. We strongly believe that there are three things that will enhance our club. They are decisions, coordination, and communication. Coming to the first one, the decisions. Have you ever heard the quote by Stephen Covey that says, I am not a product of my circumstances. I am a product of my decisions. We will breathe it in and breathe it out as I would like to remind all of you that circumstances will be what they will be and um, they do not define any of us. We will make sure not to prioritize what's on our schedule, but to schedule our priorities. Then comes the coordination. We as a club have members, each with different views or opinions, activities, and background. Therefore, there are diverse activities, but we all are gathered here for, for one common agenda, and that is to learn the arts of speaking, listening, thinking, and find the courage to change. We will ensure to integrate the efforts and skills of every individual and see to that everyone's priorities are considered and satisfied. The last but not the least, communication which is what our club is known for. In Toastmasters Moments of Truth Manual, communication is li listed among the six critical moments. Effective communication is absolutely essential for working together efficiently on tasks. The saying goes, listen first, talk second. And this is a great notion when thinking about this with regard to teamwork. There will be conflicts. However, good communication can help to resolve these issues quickly and easily. We are already very good communicators as such. I would like to thank and uh, I would like to thank each and every ex, ex uh, the former XCOM members for making the club such a friendly and supportive place. We are proud to be a part of and it's an honor to inherit the legacy and we will work together to keep the same pretentiously respectable atmosphere and provide the same homely experience for every new and existing member. 
more than 450 years ago, a wise man said, what I hear, I forget. What I see, I remember. What I do, I understand. Let's do it together. We've heard what we have to do. We've seen what we need to do. Now is the time to do it and we can do it. I, on behalf of the newly elected XCOM, would like to thank you all for your presence and making this day a special and a memorable one for us. Thank you. Over to Toastmaster Lakshmi. Thank you, Toastmaster Vidya, for that detailed report. Now, coming back to the theme, new wave. Life is lived when tiny changes occur. So currently, every one of us are in a changing, uh, like everything's are changing for us. Currently, fourth years are stepping out of the college and getting into a new world. And second and third years are worried about the e exams. And the new executive committee might be worried about the next six months. So ch some changes are good and some changes are bad. Good changes become memories and bad changes become experiences. So with that being said, the meeting has come to an end. And once again, all the very best for the 12th executive committee. And uh, thank you so much, Sakshi, for attending the meeting. She is the MCC president and current Impact 5.0 chair. And I like to end the meeting. I declare. I declare the meeting number 189 themed new wave ended. <laughs>